Hello there folks and happy Saturday to you. It's lovely to see you again as usual and thanks for you know coming over just to see what I got for the family food shop this week and it is Coronation Saturday so do let me know if you watched it or you had any part in it you know down in the comments below. I'd be really interested to see. I watched bits of it you know obviously I couldn't watch it all because it was on for hours but I did watch some of the you know the guests arriving and their wonderful outfits. Didn't they look amazing? And then I managed to catch the actual Coronation itself which is just spectacular but anyway back onto the shopping so we spent just over 51 pounds and I did go to Sainsbury's this week I got a wee click and collect and they've now started charging for click and collect it used to be free and then it went up to 50p and now it's something like two pounds which yeah it has gone up quite a bit but I'm just going to show you it's a bit of a shorter shopping and bagging we really didn't need much this week but I will show you what I got. So I picked up a wee lemon and then also this butter was an offer. This is usually one of the more expensive butters so I got that just because it was a wee bit cheaper. Then a big tub of natural yogurt. Mr Watts for Tea has been after this all week and I kept forgetting to get it so I said I'm just going to get the big one. So yeah there's quite a lot in there. It's not cheap but there is you know quite a lot in there. And then I got a white cabbage as well. This is my favourite kind of cabbage and then a bunch of bananas. I think there are five in there but they are quite small and unlike Aldi you know they don't price them individually they are priced per bunch and then a bag of mixed leaf salad for the side of something and then some purple sprout and broccoli just for a change from our usual tender stem broccoli I mean there's no flavour difference it's just the appearance I think that's different and then a bag of carrots as well and then a couple of these bake at home baguettes we are going to be having soup and rolls one night and then I thought we'd try this as well. I haven't seen this before or the brand anyway and I'll just make up my own red sauce or my own cheese sauce. Just depends how we feel on the day. And then some garlic breadsticks probably to go at the side of that ravioli and then I needed some extra self-raising flour so this one is good and reliable. And then a pack of crisps as well, probably for the side of the soup and rolls. You know what we're like when they're soup buffets. And then some jacket potatoes as well. These ones are the frozen McCain ones. And I think these are fabulous. You know, they take a couple of minutes in the microwave and they turn out lovely every time. Linda McCartney sausage rolls. And then I thought I'd try these. These, was, these were an offer as well. And these are the gastro fish fillets and then Mr Watts for Tea was asking for some muesli so I got that one and then a couple of packs of ham as well this is just sandwich ham and we're just going to pop this onto some rolls so I got two packs of that and then from the local farm shop I picked up this chicken and ham pie we've had this so many times over the last few years and it is lovely again not the cheapest but the quality of the ingredients is just lovely picked up a couple of these packs of steaks there are two steaks in each with a wee knob of garlic butter at the top obviously you fry the steaks in the garlic butter and I thought that was quite good value for four quite big steaks so yeah we'll have those one night and then the fake Weetabix this is only £1.30 odd the actual Weetabix is £4 odd and Mr Watts for Tea said there really isn't much difference some hot dogs and then a, a tub a canister, a bottle of, a tube of, <laughs> a container of salt and then some frozen chips as well. And that was everything that I got from Sainsbury's. Like I said, there was, you know, an awful lot of things that I didn't need, like yogurts and some of the usual things that you will see in my wee shopping and baggings. But, you know, if you don't need it, you're not going to buy it. And we do do mini shops through the week as well. You know, if there's something that I've forgotten or something we fancy or something that I've forgotten to add to the shop and I will pick it up during the week. I just don't film it. This is the bulk of what we will use. So thank you very much for watching and a huge thank you as usual to the supporters of the channel over on my Patreon page, to the channel members here on YouTube as well and for you all for watching again and leaving your lovely comments and for those that share the videos as well. You know I'm always blown away by everything that you do so thank you so much and I really do mean that. Thank you and hopefully I will catch up with you during the week for another wee shopping and bagging or even back on Sunday for meals of the week or back on Thursday for a wee recipe when I decide what to do. I think I might be doing cheese oat cakes this week because lots of folk have been asking have you done cheese oat cakes and no I haven't and they're really easy so I think I might do that next but whenever you choose to join me again have a wonderful rest of your week and rest of your day and I'll catch you off as soon back here on What's For Tea. Take care and bye for now. Bye now.